Welcome back. Now I want to harp on this a little bit more, but in order for your computer monitor to show you consistent, consistent color, the monitor has to be calibrated periodically to bring it into compliance. You usually do this with a kilometer or color meter, however you want to say it. Um, and if you can't afford that, usually you can use the software that came with your monitor. It's going to be more subjective than the um, professional software, but at least you're using something and then nothing. Now, once your monitor is calibrated and its profile has been built, consistent color management requires that other devices in your workflow, such as your scanner, your desktop color printer used for proofing, must also be calibrated and at least have an ICC compliant profile. And don't forget your camera and don't forget the printer and paper combinations too. All right. Now, to keep color consistent between Photoshop and other Adobe Creative Suite applications, we can synchronize their color settings. Now, how do we do this? Well, in Photoshop, you go to Edit, Color Settings, and you'll see here that I have my own. Uh, this is something that I use from Deke. Um, he's been around. I've been using this for years. It works, so I go with it. My working space is Adobe RGB. 1998, which we learned it is, um, can encompass basically both CMYK and sRGB. These settings I left the way they are. RGB, CMY, and gray preserve and better profile. Why is this important? Well, let's say I'm a photographer and I was working in sRGB and I wanted you to see the file how it was intended. This is why I want to preserve that embedded profile that he embedded in the image so that I can see how it was intended. Um, if I have a profile mismatch, which we'll talk about, you'll see what happens there. And a missing profile, basically this is saying, um, if, I don't if I don't embed any color profile, um, I'm going to have a missing profile. And this is going to tell me, what do you want to do? Now click on More Options, and you'll see here that I use the Adobe Engine. I, mean, I think that's just a given. And then the intent is perceptual. Relative color metrics more for graphics. Perceptual is more for images. You can test that out to see how it works for you. Once you're happy with these settings, and believe me, you can change them around, I usually click Save, and it's going to ask me to save it, and I just named it this. All right, I'm going to click OK. And then after that, I'm going to open up my bridge. I'm going to go to Edit, Creative Suite Color Settings. Notice the difference in this. It doesn't say Color Settings. It says Creative Suite. So by opening up this and choosing the one I just saved, and then I click apply this um, is going to make sure that every application within the Adobe Creative Suite are all on the same page and you can go through these settings here to learn about them but I'm just basically already did that so I'm going to click cancel now in the next lesson we're going to talk about the embedded profile mismatch 